thinking about the word Matthew 5:36 neither shalt thou swear by thy head because thou canst not make one hair white or black big talkers people that are proud and think that they can control the universe even making a pledge when they do not know if they will be able to fulfill it or not don't let your mouth get you into trouble and speak great swelling words that you either have no intention of following through with or do not have the ability to know whether or not you can. We have several in political office that have made all kinds of promises, mostly empty and hollow promises, some even out and out lies. Jesus warned us against making oaths and backing our words up with a sworn statement. He said that we cannot even change the color of our hair. Sure, some people can and do change their hair color when they use hair coloring formulas, but Christ meant from the roots without any foreign substance. When we speak words and make an oath on our own life or head, we are taking into account that we know the future, our life is our own, and that we have the powers that belong only unto God. So next time we get caught up in our own rants and diatribes, then are challenged concerning the certainty of what we are saying, may we not resort to swearing that we know without question what we are talking about. What we should seek after and possess is found in the Bible, a meek and a quiet spirit which is in the sight of God a great price. Remember, the Bible also says the meek shall inherit the earth, and may I also add, not the loudmouth and bragger.